Guys, Bluetooth is getting a huge upgrade and it's about to change everything. This shit is more important than you think. Goedendag, we're DHRME, daring hooligans reviewing multiple earbuds. Bluetooth is at the core of wireless audio today and the biggest upgrade it's getting is a new codec. For years, SBC has been the standard base Bluetooth codec, but now there's a new low complexity communications codec a long one or the LC3 which has finally been published and can be implemented. The umbrella term here is called Bluetooth uh, Low Energy Audio or BLE Audio for short for the rest of this video. But what does this do? Well to put it simply it's a much more efficient way to transmit audio so we'll get much higher quality audio at the same bit rate when compared to the current baseline which is SBC. The Bluetooth Special Interest Group or SIG even claims that you might get slightly better audio quality at less than half the bit rate. Don't take their word for it though. Uh, you can actually take a listen to the samples which we will link on our blog at www.dhrme.nl. A lower bit rate means lower power consumption which should translate to better battery life. But this efficiency brings so many benefits. You get much better battery life which can in turn lead to smaller earbuds. Imagine earbuds the size of a coin. Not sure if that's feasible, but we've already seen miniaturization really speed up and this could accelerate it. You also get independent earbud connection right out of the box, meaning that each earbud will be connected separately. So no more manufacturers having to implement their own solutions for this. This can also be a major upgrade for wireless hearing aids. In addition to the codec, Audio broadcasting also gets a huge upgrade. So AuraCast as it's branded will allow say a TV or your iPad to broadcast itself like a Wi-Fi network. And you as a listener can connect to that device and start listening. It looks like you can just search for the device or scan a QR code or tap an NFC tag to connect. This might also be a very useful feature in the many silent airports we have today because you know airports are stupid they're making everything silent and charging for food and flight Okay then AuraCast technically means it can support unlimited devices similar to Wi-Fi but similar to Qualcomm's aptX adaptive and Sony's LDAC it can reduce the quality of the audio if there's a poor connection for example, if you're far away or there are so many wireless devices around that it's causing interference or congestion. Okay, Apple kind of does that by allowing you to share audio via AirPlay, but it's still different. The source device needs to be an Apple product and you need to use their AirPods or Beats products. And the person with, for example, the iPad will need to allow you to connect to it. There could obviously be some access restrictions built into AuraCast since the design feels similar to Wi-Fi. It's unclear whether we'll need to throw out all of our devices and buy new ones. Nay for e-waste, but it looks like they're working on having existing devices support BLE audio. Let's hope this works out without limiting functionality as much as possible. Okay, so why is this a big deal? This comes from the Bluetooth SIG themselves, as we said, and not from a middleman like Qualcomm. And while Qualcomm has done some incredible work with its chips and the Snapdragon ecosystem, the fact that LC3 and AuraCast are coming as part of the Bluetooth standard means every device potentially can have these features. Android, iOS, wireless earbuds, hearing aids, headphones, uh, speakers, you name it. Also, unlike Qualcomm, there will be no licensing fees to use these codecs since they're part of the Bluetooth open standard. Now, the biggest threat we see to this is Apple creating its own standard based on ultra wide band and not on Bluetooth itself. Now, just like Apple went down the route of the lightning connector, we hope we don't see a day five years in the future where Apple devices don't use Bluetooth, they use ultra wide band and the rest of the world is using Bluetooth and you know, creating this kind of dichotomy for users and then you have to have earbuds that are ultra wide band certified or they are Bluetooth certified because competing standards always create a mess. But meanwhile, you've been getting an upgrade and we've been DHRME. Namaste.